Enzo here and my daughter Mia and today we're going to be doing a cat drawing. This one's for you Chloe and it's in the style of the artist Laurel Birch who made really really pretty colorful patterned kitty cat pictures that actually became very popular printed on handbags and greeting cards and even if you go into a store today you might still see her pictures on different items that you could buy. So we're going to make one of those patterned kitty cats and I did put the picture of the how to draw the cat on the video before this so you can print it out. But for us we're going to go step by step together. The first thing it says to do is take your paper and fold it to help you make a grid for your drawing. So you fold it in half. You also kind of need some like thicker paper. Yeah. Well, we are going to paint ours with watercolors, but if you don't have thicker paper, um, you could just use printer paper and color it in with like crayons maybe, or markers, color pencils. So we're going to fold it in half this way. So that shows us where our center is. And then we're going to open it up and fold it in half this way. So you have four sections on your paper. Just like this. Okay. All right, and then if you look at the how to draw step-by-step -step guide, these four sections kind of help you to where to place the head of your kitty cat, the back, the paws, the tail. So we're just going to kind of go step by step with that draw along. And um, we'll stop our video every so often and show you our progress. And then um, we'll come back and show you how we're going to add color to it after. Okay, so here we go, Mia. Stop here. All right, so we finished drawing our kitty cats. And now we're gonna add the fun part. We get to make our cats filled with cool patterns. The one on the example is filled with triangles, but you could actually make zigzag lines, swirls, um, diamonds, hearts, um, multiple like different kinds. I like the triangles too. But you're gonna go ahead and fill up your kitty cat with patterns with your pencil and then we will show you how we do ours. Okay, so while Mia's continuing with her designs, 
The next step is I'm going to trace over all my lines with a black Sharpie marker. Okay, I have so one down here. Yep, we're going to stop the video and we will come back when our kitty cats are traced. All right, so we are just finishing up tracing over our kitty cat pictures with black Sharpie marker. And Mia is doing my favorite thing that she always does. She always cleans up her artwork by erasing any pencil lines that she may have missed when she traced over with Sharpie marker. So that always makes your artwork look even better. <laughs> and we are gonna paint ours in. You don't have to paint yours in. You could use what? How could you add color? Markers. Markers, crayons, color pencils, pastels, oil pastels, chalk, any of the above. But we are going to paint ours in, and that's why we actually had to use Sharpie permanent marker. So that way our marker doesn't run when we use our watercolors. So we're going to go ahead. You can use whatever colors you want, just like you saw in her examples. They are super bright and colorful. There's really no right or wrong way to paint it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started painting mine while Mia finishes cleaning hers up. Do you have a brush you like the best? Yes. All right. Here we go. we got to get started. All right. We are back with our finished paintings. Here's our Laurel Birch colorful pattern kitty cats, which made us oh so happy, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We feel like we're ready to conquer the day now with smiles. Smile, Mia. There we go. Okay. Oh, and go back. <laughs> All right. Bye. See you bye. tomorrow.